Welcome to Superior Profit Morning Market Meeting, 4th April 2019. I'm Sagar Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company, or more importantly, how it can help in your trading, you may visit the website superiorprofit.co. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. This session is meant to be a demonstration of top-down, bottom-up, and insight-based identification of trade opportunities. It is different from the weekly market roundup that we post every week in our YouTube channel, which primarily tries to identify trades using top-down approach. This is the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We look at the global markets using technical charts. We look at market indices for several countries. Then we look for buying opportunities using bottom-up analysis, 360 degrees analysis. 360 degrees analysis mean we'll try to find opportunities where the industry is strong, the stock is fundamentally strong, and it is at a technical buy point. Then we'll also look for shorting opportunities using bottom-up analysis, but 360 degrees analysis. We'll also try to look for buying opportunities from Q Edge Insights. You may carry out a similar analysis to look for shorting opportunities using QH insights. And if we have time, we may walk through some of the latest trade ideas shared in our traders forum. If we don't have time, you may visit the forum. It is open to the public and go through some of the latest trade ideas and how the Q systems 360 degrees analysis was applied to identify them. Let's start with global market analysis. We start our global market analysis using Australia market index, AXJO. We are looking at it using the weekly backdrop template and daily hop on or entry template. Together we call this at a glance template because this template helps us decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart, after displaying the bullish headwind signal, AXJO strongly went up. Its backdrop candle color was bullish cyan for many weeks. From this week onward, the backdrop candle color turned yellow. It was moving sideways. This week it tried to go up, hit the memory resistance line and came down. Today is Thursday, Australia market has closed already. The weekly candle shape is indecisive and the color is also neutral yellow. The memory support and resistance lines are quite effective tools to anticipate trades. When an instrument is going to the memory resistance line, we start to look for reversal trade opportunities. We can see that AXJO tried to go above the memory resistance and reverse, creating a false upside breakout. Those tend to be even more reliable signals for taking reversal short trades. 
while that was happening in the weekly chart, in the daily chart, price came to the watermark resistance level. In fact, when above the watermark resistance yesterday and today, Thursday, it created a false upside breakout in the daily chart as well. It displayed a bear release signal. And today, price dropped with extreme bearish pressure. Bearish pressure is a combination of bearish price move along with activity or volume doesn't rely on only volume or only price move it is a combination of both you can see from today's signals today we don't have extreme volume extreme volume would be indicated by a dot on the volume bar today we don't have extreme volume but the displacement was of large size relative to recent price move daily price move of axjo that's why we have an indicator saying that we have extreme bearish pressure. If you apply the unambiguous checklist for a box trade setup, then today all the requirements are met except that activity is not extremely high. That is fine because this is a broad market index. We don't always expect extreme high activity in the market index. Instead, we have extreme bearish pressure using that you could take a short trade in axjo today near market close and if you did that you would probably try to book profit at the memory support line or once the risk distance is covered let us use the axjo today to demonstrate another technique that i use and that is very robust technique. This is AXJO. It is reversing from memory resistance in weekly watermark resistance in daily. We could take a short trade in AXJO. However, AXJO is a market index. In Q technique, a more reliable or higher probability trade would be found in one of the AXJO's constituents. What kind of constituent we we'll look for? We we'll look for stocks that are fundamentally weak and having weak industry as well. In that way, we can apply the 360 degrees technique in any market. Let us look at some of the stocks that constitute XJO. You could also look for any stock in the Australia market and look for shorting opportunities. What I have done, I have already gone through all the constituent stocks of AXJO and I saw several of them dropped today. That is expected because the broad index dropped reversed. Then I took the 20% stocks that dropped most and I have added them in my Metastock watch list. So let me go to that list i have created a list work area and i have put here the 40 stocks that are part of a xjo that dropped most how did i get these stocks again these are the stocks with biggest decline today 20 percent 20 percent of the stocks with biggest declines now what I will do, I will go through these stocks and you will see it is quite easy to look for shorting opportunities using our unambig unambiguous trade checklist. So I am going to go to chart, take the first stock and open it using our standard weekly daily template. Sometimes we'll be finding a trade setup today and sometimes we'll see that the trade setup came few days ago. In this case, APA, we had a bearish headwind trade setup a few days ago that could catch the very top. Bearish headwind is a very unique signal that indicates possible reversal and when other signals are aligned, 
we have a trade setup using the bearish headwind. Just the signal doesn't mean that we have a trade setup, but if we meet all the checklist conditions, then we have a trade setup. And I can see one week ago also, the candle color was yellow. Therefore, I can say that on this day, we had a bearish headwind reversal trade setup at the very top. The entry would be at this point. Stop would be just above recent high. And by today, we would book at least partial profit. The relative performance is tilting down. It is quite weak. In this case, there is no reason to exit full position. Partial position profit would be booked with discipline and we will hold partial position with trailing stop trying to let profit run. Because we already knew that AXJO had the memory resistance, we could start to look for shorting opportunities proactively and we could short this stock at the very top. Let's go through these 40 stocks. I will stop only when I see there is something worth mentioning. Some of the stocks may not give any signal. This one I am not stopping. Sometimes I'll comment also why I am not stopping because it is inside a triangle pattern. It means the direction is not clear. We avoid taking any swing trade in such a stock. 40 stocks. In fact, I, if I was just scrolling through all of them, it would take probably 40 multiplied by three seconds. So 120, about two minutes. This one has a memory support nearby. I'm not going to short it. This one looks good. Instantly, we can decide because we remembered the checklist. This stock displayed a magenta color candle Monday. By that time, price was already in a downtrend. We know that because there was a memory resistance line and there was no memory support line. We had lower low already, lower high. Therefore, when we had the magenta color candle, we had a go with flow trend following short trade setup. By now already the trade is in profit, looking quite weak in weekly as well as daily. We may book partial profit, continue to hold partial position. BWP, that gave a trend following short trade setup. Earlier we saw another stock that gave a headwind reversal trade setup. Next. I'm not going to short it because the weekly is cyan color. That doesn't allow us to take any short trade. What we are doing, we are trying to identify higher probability trades, not just based on the daily chart, not just based on the weekly chart, but also using fundamental information using broad market information as well. Here, no trade. COH, no trade because there are memory supports both in weekly and daily. Here in the daily chart, we have a false upside breakout. However, the weekly color is not yellow. Therefore, it is not allowing us to take a short trade using the box trade setup. Weekly is not meeting the checklist condition. This one, interesting, looking good, isn't it? Instantly, we can see it was going up strongly. If you are looking at a clean chart without the queue system, you would probably not short this trade, short this stock because it is looking like going up strongly. However, when we apply the queue, templates, we can see in the weekly, the backdrop candle color was cyan until this week. For next four weeks, though the stock was slowly going up, backdrop candle color already changed to yellow. And this week, backdrop candle color changed to magenta, also displayed a bear release signal. Relative performance is showing it is underperforming the market. In the daily chart, you can say it, in a way it created a lower high and lower low 
display the magenta color candle and again today we have extreme bearish pressure though you can see the activity is not high enough that is fine the pressure calculation is quite unique we are able to see the weakness of the stock by combining the displacement relative to recent price move and activity relative to recent volume those are combined into the pressure calculation and you could probably look for a short trade in dxs in this case let us look at the stocks fundamental also fundamental analysis is only useful if it is relative to pr stocks in absolute terms earnings per share may not mean much earning per share of one dollar may sound good only until you find all other pr stocks have five dollar earnings per share therefore we always look for fundamental analysis in conjunction with peer analysis we will look for that for dxs.ax qvital is a global tool dxs.ax it is in off streaming off mode i am clicking the play button now streaming is on at the top we can see it is connected to thomson reuters which is definitive now Thomson Reuters sold the data and risks business to Refinitiv. Qvital is going through three steps. First is retrieve some basic information about the stock. It is in office rates industry, real estate sector. Next step, it retrieved some PR stocks and then retrieved further data about these PR stocks and calculated vital statistics. Let's have a look at them. DXS valuation is weak in australia we don't have quarterly earnings results we have yearly earnings results and we can see yearly earnings growth is also going down yellow but going down very small earnings growth anyway and it is overvalued therefore we have a stock here that is fundamentally weak a stock is fundamentally weak in q technique either based on valuation in which case the valuation will be in magenta color or in terms of earnings growth sometimes we may find weak earnings growth and weak valuation at the same time as is in this case it is weak earnings growth because it is very small percentage almost zero and it is reducing year over year and it is overvalued therefore we have found a stock that is weak fundamental relative to peers in fact this is the only stock in the group that is overvalued the other stocks are all optimally valued therefore if we had to short one of them in terms of fundamentals we would choose dxs from that angle as well this this is a stock that is probably giving a short setup today We don't use QH usually for non-USA markets. However, some of the fund managers who use Q systems, they have access to QH for other markets as well. So they could, like I can, choose Australia and then get the industry scorecard heat map for Australia and find out if real estate sector is weak or at least if this industry office rates is weak then we will have a 360 degrees short rate setup i am not going through the industry analysis for australian stocks in this session if we find some usa based opportunities i'll carry out the industry analysis as well let's go through the remaining stocks the exact same analysis that i am doing in the australian market we could carry out that in any other country, certainly in the USA market. Has memory support in daily. I'm not going to short it. FPH, interesting. You see, the moment I see a stock, and once you use Q systems for a while, the moment you see it, you will pause. And the moment you pause, you know you have a very low risk possible trade setup here am i going to short it let's see there was a bearish headwind earlier from where price dropped heavily 
this bearish headwind could catch the very top. Now price came to the exact same level. The earlier bearish headwind created a watermark resistance. Price tried to go above that and fail, creating a false upside breakout. As I have mentioned many times, if bearish headwind is able to push price down, when price goes back to the same level, some more selling is most likely left and there is a higher probability of price coming down again, at least enough for us to take a profitable swing short trade. In the daily chart, there is not enough signal to take a short trade. Therefore, in this case, though I am thinking the stock is weak, I am not going to take a short trade because there is no Q trade setup when we apply the unambiguous checklists. At minimum, if I'm holding a long position, I will apply trailing stop using Q protection signal. This stock Im immediately we can stop because one week ago it displayed a candle with bearish shape. In Q technique, we are always recognizing these candles with long upper or lower tails. This is with upper tail that is bearish. That happened one week ago. And this week, the candle backdrop color in the weekly chart turned bearish. Magenta also displayed a bear release signal. In the daily chart, it had displayed a bearish headwind signal earlier. Then price tried to go above that watermark level, came down, created a false upside breakout, displayed a magenta color candle, fell down a little bit, tried to go up, fell down today again, displayed a second magenta color candle. Now if we apply the unambiguous checklist for go with flow short trade setup, which is available on our website, we'll see that today, as of today, we have a short setup, trend following short setup in GMG. Let's look at its fundamentals. Probably this is the last time I'm going to look at fundamentals while going through all these 40 stocks. GMG.ax. The moment I type the root stock, it is carrying out the three steps. First step is carried out. Interestingly, this is also in real estate sector, industrial rates. Now it is trying to retrieve the PR stocks. While it is doing that, let me continue with the next stock. Sometimes because of internet speed, it may take longer than usual. May also be taking more time because I am conducting the webinar at the same time. We'll come back to the cube vital result for GMG. Let's go through the other stocks. Weak stock. Here we had a bearish headwind in weekly chart a couple of weeks ago. That was the first week where backdrop candle color turned neutral from bullish. It had a bearish shape candle and this week we have a very bearish shape candle with a bear release signal and backdrop candle color turned bearish. In fact, we had a go with flow trend following short trade setup in this stock on Monday. In the daily chart, price was going down and we had a magenta color candle. In the daily chart, we had a go with flow short trade setup on Monday. By today, already we have enough profit, partial profit could be booked. It has retrieved the PR stocks. Okay, it has calculated the vital statistics coming back to GMG. Instantly again, we can see it is poor valuation. In this case, we have earnings growth, not much from 8.6 to 10.1%, but that is fine. We are looking for weakness either in terms of valuation or earnings growth. In any case, earnings growth is not great but we have poor valuation, we are allowed to short it in terms of fundamentals. Therefore, GMG is another stock that is fundamentally weak and technically giving a short setup at the same time. Those trades tend to be more reliable. 
less likely to be stopped out. Even if the market goes up down for a while, when we apply 360 degrees technique, either in the long direction trade or short direction trade, they are less likely to be stopped out. Coming back to technical analysis, GPT gave a short trade setup on Monday. Next. This stock is already below lower boundary in the daily chart. Therefore, we are not going to short it now. It came right from upper boundary to lower boundary. We call this wild moves. It's not easy to find a low risk trading opportunity when a stock does that. For swing trading purpose. I will not go through the other stocks. I am only in the alphabet G. There are many other stocks probably. Let me just go to the last three stocks, starting from WHC. Looking weak, this in fact gave a short trade setup today. And earlier it had given a short trade setup on this day. This was a magenta color candle, price was already coming down. So we would short in this candle and we would book profit already at lower boundary. You notice I am not going to short it on these or these candles, though they were also magenta candle, because there is a checklist condition for go with flow short trade setup. The candle shape has to be bearish. However, this candle and this candle had long lower tails. Therefore, they were not meeting the checklist conditions for go with flow short trade setup. Whereas this candle was meeting all the conditions for the short trade setup. I can see weekly was already magenta. So we would be able to take a short trade quite confidently. Confidently doesn't mean we would know the result in advance. Confidently means that we would have a low risk entry opportunity in a stock according to our trade setups. This is looking weak also, WOR. However, it is inside a triangle pattern in the daily. So I'm not going to short it now. If I have a long position, I'll be careful. It nicely came to the memory resistance in weekly and stopping there, but no short opportunity here. WPL. This also gave a short opportunity today and one more short opportunity came on this day and even before that another short opportunity came on this day. This day I am not sure how the weekly candle color was at that time but looking at the weeklies it seems that on this day we had a checklist following, checklist meeting, trend following, go with flow short trade setup, another trade setup came today. Was this the last talk? in the list. WPL, last talk. If it is the last talk, let's check its fundamentals also. I hope it will take less time now. WPL.ax. Oil and gas exploration and production industry in energy sector. We can see some basic information. It actually has a very nice dividend. Still, if a stock is falling, we are not going to buy it just because of the dividend yield. The stock is clearly dropping, both in the weekly as well as in the daily chart. Support is quite far away. The next memory support is around 29.30. Weekly also has memory support 29.30. We are not going to buy this stock, which is falling now because of high dividend. Let's look at the fundamentals. It has medium valuation, not overvalued. Earnings growth is positive. So in a future date, if the stock starts to go up, this would be a good buying candidate because it has nice earnings growth from 4.3% over three years to 22.2 over two years to 27.6 over one year. These are compound 
aggregate earnings growth. Revenue growth is also there, has a very nice dividend. In fact, the best dividend pair in this list, there is only one stock in this group with better valuation, that is HZN. Let's have a look at that, HZN. HZN and AX. This is inside a triangle pattern in the weekly chart. Daily is sideways. If it could break out of this memory resistance lines in daily, which would also mean breaking out of the memory resistance in weekly, then you could consider taking a long trade in this stock provided the market is going up, the industry is going up at the same time. In this way, we can create a list of stocks that we may buy provided certain conditions are true. How would, how would we track that this stock is going to break out of memory resistance? I use Zenith for that, Repetitive Zenith. This level is 0 0.125. Therefore, I can go to LR, create a new LR on hzn.ax. The condition will be closing price greater than 0 0.125. Let's make it greater than equal to. Then I can say, what happened? At the end of AX. Okay, you will be able to set it up. I am not going to spend time on that, but here you can set up a lot of any stock based on many different criteria. You will be able to get email if those conditions are met and then you can check the industry and take a long position. That is how I use the alert facility in Zenith. Whichever country I am trading in, I can use the single platform to set all my alerts. We drill down into the Australia market after looking at the Australian index AXJO, which is looking weak at the very top. And these are the times we can start to look for the best shorting opportunities in underlying stocks. And we could find some very lucrative shorting opportunities. Let's look at the other global markets, China market. very strong. It created a false downside breakout at this point. Since then, the weekly candle color was bullish for a long time. One week ago, the color changed to neutral, though the shape was bullish. And this week, it could break above the memory resistance. In daily also, it is going up strongly. It is already above the upper boundary level. If you were tracking it, you could probably take a long trade on this cyan color candle, or as I would probably do at the opening of next candle, because this candle was not giving us a trend following long trend. Price was not moving in an uptrend. It was sideways, bound by the watermark resistance and memory support. Therefore, I would not take a long trade on this candle, though it was very bullish shape and bullish color. Instead, I would take a long position next day near market open using real-time fine-tune intraday chart. Now I can hold on to partial position. Partial position I would have booked already. Profit. China market looking very strong, very different from the Australia market, isn't it? What about Hong Kong market? Also strong, not as strong as China. It had weekly yellow candle for four weeks and now it broke out again this week. Today's candle shape is indecisive. It is near upper boundary. We are not going to take any long now. We had a cyan color candle in a stock 
market index here on this day and it was moving in an uptrend with higher highs and higher lows. Therefore, in this case, I would be able to take a long trade on this day itself. The daily chart was meeting all the conditions for a trend following long trade. The weekly was yellow probably, like we analyzed in Australia market. If you were not going to take a long trade in the index, you could drill down into the underlying stocks and find fundamentally strong stocks, that is a higher probability approach because market indices are average of many stocks. They are not as bullish as if you can find a fundamentally strong stock, which is part of Hang Seng Index and in an industry that is also strong, technically strong, that trade would be higher probability than taking the index trade. And I'm sure, when this cyan color candle came, you would find some buying opportunity in some of the Hong Kong stocks. What about India stock? India election is coming soon. Let's look at the Nifty index dot NSEI. In fact, it came very close to all time high or probably reach, touched it also. When we knew that the watermark resistance was there, we would not try to take a long trade at the very top. Now we see yesterday there was a bearish headwind signal also in the daily chart that would result in us booking profit or setting stop loss in our long positions. Today price dropped a little bit. There was no bearish headwind trade set up because the weekly was not meeting all the conditions. However, looking at the bearish headwind signal, we would book or protect profit in any existing long position, not only in the index, but in any stock that was showing weakness at the top. FTSE index, let's look at British market, FTSE. Interestingly, this came to a memory resistance, very close to it, didn't touch that. India market came to watermark resistance and British market came near memory resistance in both weekly and daily. And today it has displayed a bearish headwind signal. There is no bearish headwind trade setup because the weekly is not meeting the checklist condition. Therefore, we may book profit in an existing long position in any stock in the British market or at least protect profit using stop loss. I will look at the USA market futures later. Let me see if I can do the analysis, the other topics, if I can cover how many of them I can cover. We did more deep dive in the Australian market. But that is fine. The same technique can be applied to other markets as well. In Australian market, we drill down into the index constituent and look for opportunities there. Now let's look in the USA market and look for buying opportunities using bottom-up analysis. We can do the same analysis using trade station using the sonar dashboard or using the scans. Let me use Metastop, the same analysis you can do using Q Global on Metastop or Q Elite on Trade Station. What I'm going to do now is look for buying opportunities in stocks that are in confirmed uptrend. That means I'm going to combine multiple scans or explorers. I'm looking for stocks that are above slow direction line, also closing above very slow direction line and giving a trend following long trade setup. That is a go with flow long trade setup. This is an elegant and efficient way that Metastock allows us to combine multiple Q sonars to identify exactly what we are looking for. And let me run this on a list of USA stocks that I have with very liquid 
option. So options are also narrow spread. So I have selected three scans. I'm going to run it on 274 stocks and I click summary. I'm going to order them properly. First look for stocks above very slow, then look for stocks above slow, and then look for trend following long trade setup. And I have selected the option here, use the results from the preceding exploration. If I start the exploration, Metastock will run the scans one by one. And you can see the progress bar at the top. It's quite fast. While it is running, let me take, drink some water. Quite fast, couldn't even finish my water. Starting with 274 stocks, we ended up with only eight stocks, pretty fast. Now we have two possible ways of analyzing these stocks. We could either look at them using technical charts or we could look at their fundamentals and then industry strength. Let me look at them through technical charts first and see if there is a buy opportunity. And looking at the current market condition, you will probably see that there are not many easy buying opportunities now. I'm going to open the first stock from the result of the last exploration using our standard weekly daily at a glance template. Fire eye, I'm not going to buy it now because it has a memory resistance in the daily. Next. Sometimes if there is not enough data, a warning message will come. FIT Fitbit. This is looking interesting in the daily chart. Many people like to buy stocks that are going up in an uptrend and then they pull back to support and start to go up again. In this case, price is going up and going out of all the four direction lines, cyan, magenta, yellow, white. Those tend to provide robust support. So if the stock goes up today, you could buy it and put stop just below recent low to be more on the safer side. You could initially put stop below this memory support line. However, if we apply the checklist conditions, it is not giving us a go with flow long trade setup because the weekly is magenta, not cyan. And that is expected when a stock comes down and hit all the direction lines, then it is expected that the weekly will not be cyan. If you are used to take long position in stocks that pull back to support and now starting to go up, then this will be a valid candidate. Not a go with flow long trade setup, but a pull back to support and going up from support kind of trade. Fitbit, let us remember this stock. Later on, we'll check its industry and fundamentals. Home Depot, looking very strong. However, it is already above upper boundary line. We are not going to buy now. If you look back, the cyan colored candle came somewhere here. It is similar to where Fitbit is now. At this point, it went up above all the four direction lines. That was the time to take the long trade. We would book partial profit already at the upper boundary and we would continue to hold partial position. We are not going to buy it now. Home Depot and now Lowe's in the same industry. Interestingly, this also gave us a buy point at this point. It was in a clear uptrend, then it pulled back to support and gave a cyan color candle. Cyan color candle in a stock in uptrend, that is a clear go with flow long trade setup. I can see the weekly was cyan at that time. Therefore, lows, L-O-W is the ticker symbol, gave us a trend following long trade setup on this day. Now we 
would already book partial profit at the upper boundary and continue to hold partial position with trailing stock. We are not going to buy a stock now. Using the trend following going through the long trade setup, we are well ahead of breakout traders. Breakout traders may be buying now, but we would book profit at this point, at, at the breakout point, at least partial position. SYMC inside a triangle pattern in the daily chart. I'm not going to buy it. ATNTT. This is looking interesting. In the weekly, it is bullish, cyan color, bullish shape. In the daily, it was inside a range. The upper limit was created by this watermark resistance lines. Three days ago, it broke out of that. Since then, moving sideways, yesterday the candle color became cyan. Now, if it goes above, let's say, the high of this yellow candle, which would be high was 31.95. Therefore, if it hits 32, one could take a breakout trend. In Q technique, we are not fond of breakout trades, at least I'm not very fond of breakout trades, unless the breakout gives me a low risk buying opportunity. Here, if I am going to buy it at 32, I would put stop just above this sideways. Sorry, not above, I'll put stop just below this sideways range. I'm not going to put my stop here. In fact, if you put stop below the memory support, then also I think the percentage wise stop loss will not be much or you could put the stop loss at this point as well. Exactly which point that we could decide using the protect profit signal. And this is calculating the stop using volatility. It is telling us to put the stop loss order at this point, not necessarily at this point, because I'm using a breakout from the sideways range to enter the trade. I could put my GTC order stop order at this point. However, if I see prices coming down, closing somewhere here, giving me a magenta color candle, I will exit my trade at this point. So my initial GTC order will be following this protection signal level. If I see it is starting to go down with magenta color candle, I will not have to wait for the stop to be hit, especially if the industry is also weakening at the same time. That is how I use GTC order, but I also keep an eye on the stock and exit with smaller loss if I can. That is for protecting my position. I am always risk averse and risk averse traders are also more profitable traders in my experience. They survive to make profit. Risk taking traders don't survive long. This one is looking good. AT&T, later on we look at these two stocks, fundamentals and technicals. What are these two stocks? AT&T and Fitbit. Let's continue, EAA, just below memory resistance in daily, also weekly, no long trade here. VIPS, this is similar to AT&T, however, different in some way. Similar in the sense it was inside a range. Three days ago it broke out. Now, if it breaks out above the high of this candle, one could consider taking a long trend, putting stop just below this narrow range. However, the weekly is not as bullish as at and Therefore, looking at technical charts, I would rather buy at and than VIPS. So they are in different industries probably, but still the weekly is not looking so bullish in this case. I would rather take the long trade in at and Back to FireEye. So we found two stocks. One is Fitbit. How is this stock? Let's look at the weekly more clearly. We can see that it used to be a high flyer earlier went to which price level? Above 50 and now it is hovering around 5.96.
it is not dying. It is able to hold on to this price level for a long time. This may give a very low risk buying opportunity for longer term investment also, putting stop just above this sideways range that is going on for quite long time. From 2017, early 2017, interestingly, the weekly displayed a bullish headwind at that time. And since then, price couldn't break below that level. Very effective signal. Now, if the stock is going up, let's look at the daily, it may give a low risk buying opportunity. The stop would be just below this memory support. It's a low price stock, about $6. And the other opportunity would be AT&T. It was also moving in a narrow range and now breaking out. Let's look at their fundamentals. Let's start with Fitbit. Fitbit, overvalued stock, though it has earnings growth. In terms of fundamentals, we are either looking for earnings growth or valuation. It has good earnings quality, has a short squeeze potential as well. The cyan color is telling that, no dividend. So we have reasons in terms of fundamentals to look for a buying opportunity in Fitbit. It is in electronics, equipment, and instruments industry. What I can do, I can copy this text and search for the industry in QH to see if the industry is also strong. It is strong. Instantly we know from the color coding. It was more magenta before, now cyan. Therefore Fitbit is giving us a 360 degree long trade opportunity. Could be held for longer term also if the stock starts to go up. If that is the case, let's look at the earnings rate 30th April. Now is 4th April. This may be a good time to buy into this stock. Again, the valuation is not good, but if the earnings comes out better, then the valuation color will change from magenta to yellow or maybe even cyan, but it has good earnings growth. What about at and No, no, not that one, just T. Quite fun way of analyzing stock, at least to me. <laughs> I like this technique. It's working quite well. Quite fast also. at and Now instantly we see this is a value stock. Secondary valuation is also cyan, which is more useful for longer term investment. Valuation is good enough for swing trading. Cyan color has steady earnings growth for the last three quarters and yearly periods as well increasing over yearly periods, quarterly periods, earnings growth is steady, pays a very nice dividend of 6.4%. Earlier, we found a stock in the Australian market where dividend was high, but the stock was dropping. And I mentioned we were not going to take a long position in a stock just because the dividend is high because the stock is dropping. Whereas in at and the stock is starting to go up and it has a nice dividend. These are the times we will be happy to take it as a technical trade, as a dividend play, as a long-term investment in any of those manners. Let's look at its industry, integrated telecom services. How is the industry now? Instantly we can see. It was very weak earlier, now getting stronger. So this is the industry where we would like to buy and we have a 360 degree buying opportunity in at and How did we find at and Here we started with Metastock, combined a number of sonar scans to look for stocks in confirmed uptrend, giving a trend following long trade setup. Then we looked at its fundamentals. We found a fundamentally strong stock at and and also industry strength is there. So we have a 360 degree trend, long trend. We don't have time to go for the 
bottom up analysis 360 degree analysis to find shorting opportunity you could carry the exact same analysis in the reverse order instead of looking for long opportunities you would look for closing below slow direction closing below very slow direction and look for trend following short trade setup run all of them on the same list or any list of your choice i will not do that now instead let us try to find some opportunities quickly from q edge insights in q edge in the insight tab we have stocks under different categories they are calculated in real time refreshed using this top level button or individual buttons individual buttons are faster if you are looking for only long opportunities then you don't need to look for these opportunities for example worst performing stocks that's why i suggest using the individual buttons to refresh only the categories that you are interested in one of my favorite categories is this one best performing value stocks all of these are value stocks you can see some you can look at the industry and sometimes you will see there are multiple opportunities in the same industry meaning the stocks are going up not because of their individual strength maybe individual strength is there but also the industry strength here i can see two semiconductor stocks both of them are value stock that's why they came in this list let's look at the industry i can click the binocular button semiconductor equipment is looking strong and the other stock was in semiconductors let me click the binocular again semiconductors also looking strong if you look at the industry heat map you see it was strong for quite a long time therefore the best buying opportunities have passed in q technique we try to track the trade using database analysis and that allows us to enter the trade long ahead of others like we saw in case of integrated telecom services if i go back to that it was magenta now turning cyan this is the time we look for buying opportunities whereas in semiconductors we see all these periods all the many monthly periods are already cyan so the best opportunities might have passed still we could look at these two stocks if i set my technical system to q global which i have done then if i go to inside let me close any meta stock chart that i have open i can click the chart icon if i am using q global by clicking the chart icon i will be able to open the chart provided provided i keep the chart option highlighted not the explorer okay let me open again so it opens the chart some warning message if there is not enough data i can see not enough data from here this has no buy setup instantly we can apply our checklist conditions no buy setup so this is one of the best performing value stocks but no buy setup let us look at the other semiconductor stock q global and q edge are integrated this is looking interesting you see tt it is inside a triangle pattern in the daily i will not buy it now there are two techniques to buy such a stock either if it breaks out pulls back goes up again giving me a low risk entry opportunity at this point or let it come to the memory support and wait for it to reverse from there for example this candle could give us a buy opportunity if now it drops back to the memory support goes up that would give us a buy opportunity not now so we don't have a buy opportunity from the two semiconductor stocks in the vatu stock let's look at the futures now if you have some stock of interest i may have a look at that otherwise let's look at the futures here in trade station i have set up different futures 
here over weekly period and at the bottom panel using radar daily period over the weekly period all the market futures nasdaq e mini russell 2000 and dow all are up nasdaq is up the most 2.32 percent and russell is up the least 1.44 but all are up today now it is 9.07 hours eastern standard time nq and rty are slightly down e mini and dow are slightly up let's look at e mini the weekly today is thursday before market open bullish color bullish shape daily is going up we had a sand color candle here now price is very close to upper boundary level we are not going to buy it and we are not going to short it also because there is a memory support in past webinars both the weekly market as well as the last thursday's webinar i mentioned that all the futures except rty has memory support line in daily or weekly so if we are going to look for shorting opportunity we would look for them in rty which does okay now now it has a memory support line it didn't have have any memory support earlier but now it has so we are not going to short it right now the memory lines are drawn dynamically very smart trend lines we are not going to short it unless you see price trying to go above this memory resistance coming down and then you are using the intraday chart to short it using the false upside breakout technique for a swing trading we are not going to short it now meaning using daily chart we are not going to short it now because we have a memory support nearby let's look at look at oil oil is up four percent plus for the week today is also up it is going up strongly in the weekly chart weekly chart it came to this very long term memory support created a false downside breakout and since then it is going up it is maintaining bullish color for many weeks while it was going up you could look at the energy sector and further drill down into energy industries fundamental stocks and look for buying opportunities the best buying opportunities in some of those stocks may be over that is all the time we have for today thank you for attending i look forward to seeing you in our next session and also we post the weekly market routes in our YouTube channel. You may have a look at them. Thank you once again. Have a great week and trade profitably.